What's going on everybody ladies and gentlemen simply pops here back at it again with the tweaks of the week series on iOS 12 You guys been loving you guys been killing it with the support with the series So I'm here to bring you guys yet again more tweaks for iOS 12 We did it for iOS 11. We're gonna do it again for iOS 12 Of course my wallpaper link will be down below So if you guys are interested download it click on the link in the description and you can rock out with this wallpaper also the theme is called moose 4 so download that and yeah without further ado i'm going to be showing you guys 30 tweaks 30 tweaks that's a lot of tweaks so grab your popcorn this might be a long video now the first tweak i'm going to be showing you guys is called a virtualize i hope i'm saying that right now it's going to bring the iphone 10s 10s max 10r feature of the depth control slider so all right so i took a very very quick portrait shot just to show you guys so now if i tap on edit i can actually change the depth so i can completely remove that blur and have it like a standard picture or i can completely change the aperture and make it even more blurry than what it is which is fairly impressive so this is an amazing tweak i highly recommend it if you enter photography on your iphone you need to install this tweak right now so it's way better than this, which was pretty much the standard. And you can blur it even more and have a more crisp shot. Now this next tweak is a classic. This is called Eclipse. This is a staple. And all it is, an enable dark mode on your iPhone. So everything is dark. It's not blinding you with the white interface. So everything is a little bit more easy on the eyes. And that goes for any application. You know, your calendar, you have that. You even have the photos. It's dark. You have your messages, all your applications are dark. You can have it off on some applications because Eclipse might not work well. Now this tweak right here is called Colorflow 4 and basically it just takes the album cover and it just adapts to the entire music application interface. So you guys can see the album art is yellow. It's just gonna take that color and just put it into the entire music player. Really cool, boom. Just seeing all the colors and just have the entire music player adapt to that color. Thank you, next. It takes the pink color or the rose color and it just bloop. Now this tweak right here is called Melior and it's gonna redesign the volume HUD. This is gonna be way better than the traditional volume HUD on iOS. And yeah, it looks so neat, so minimalistic. It's right there on the side. And I know I reviewed a tweak similar to this called Ultrasound, but this tweak right here is actually free. But I actually still like Ultrasound better. But hey, this one is free and you cannot beat free. And you know, you can actually take your finger, you can slide up and down if you like. Using the Taptic Engine, once you get down low or use the maximum volume, you can position it, you can change the colors, you know, really, really customizable. Now this tweak right here is called Wi-Fi Password. Don't you hate it when someone asks you what's the password, but then now they have to get a sheet of paper and all of that? There's no need for that. So right now it's showing all the Wi-Fi passwords that this phone was connected to. So one night I was in the studio, then somebody had to get a sheet of paper. This is before when I was jailbroken. And now I could just pull up all the Wi-Fi passwords. Highly recommend This is a staple tweak right here. Be Gone CIA is another jailbreak tweak. And there's a toggle here on the bottom. And if I turn that on, it's actually gonna turn off the microphone. It's gonna turn off the front facing camera and it's gonna turn off the rear camera. You, you know, the microphone is off. So if I go into the camera application, I can't use the camera application because it's like, it's like putting a sticker on your camera, basically. And it goes for the front facing camera too. If you want, you can turn that off and you can use your camera again, just like that on the fly. So, and keep in mind, your music will work, your data will still work, but it's just the GPS, the camera and the microphone just off temporarily. Now this next tweak is called Noctis 12 and all it is is going to darken your widgets. It's going to darken your notifications so you guys can see everything is nice and neat and this goes hand in hand with Eclipse and you know especially good at nighttime too. So it darkens your widgets, it darkens your notifications and it just looks beautiful to look at. As you guys can see, it darkens the dock down there. It's kind of hard to see because of my wallpaper. It darkens your 3D touch platters here on the top here. So I can go into the settings. So this is like the ultimate dark mode right here with Eclipse. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but my animations are slightly more faster. And this tweak right here is called Animations Be Fast. Everything, the animations are a little bit more faster. I don't want it to be too fast because the animations will look a little jerky, but... Um, you can actually configure some settings here. These are just the default settings and I think it's just the sweet spot. Now this tweak right here is a staple. Now this is no sub, so um, it's gonna disable substrate 
on whatever applications you like. So for example, I like to turn off Substrate on the Snapchat application because Snapchat, they don't like the jailbreak community. They hate it, you can get banned. If I launch up Snapchat, it's gonna turn off all tweaks, everything is gonna be off, and it's just gonna, it's gonna be normal. But as soon as you exit, your Substrate is running right back again. Now I know you guys are gonna love this tweak. Thank me later. This one here is called alarm groups. And all it is, you can group your alarms all together. So sometimes in the morning time, you like to set multiple alarms. With this application, or this tweak I should say, this tweak is gonna allow you to group your alarms. So let's say for example, I can create a group. You can, I don't know, name anything you want. You can create alarms. And then the first alarm, I don't know, whatever time you like to wake up. Let's say you like to wake up at eight. And you can set the repetitions. So how many times you want that alarm to be created. So let's say five times. And then you can set the intervals. So this goes by minutes. So you can say every three minutes. And then you can forward the repetitions. And you can save it. So now this group, you guys can see. Let me zoom in. Now it's going to wake you up. It has the alarm set from 8.44 a.m. to 8.59 a.m. So boom. Just like that, easy to do, no need to create multiple alarms and everything all scattered all over the place. Just like how I used to do here. This is on my non-jailbroken side until I install this tweak right here on the top. So very, very, very handy tweak. Now the next tweak is called Wii Vamp. Now it's gonna take all the Nintendo Wii sounds such as the Wii Shop channel, the news channel, the weather channel. It's gonna just take those songs and just put it onto your icon. So if I launch up the App Store, for example, you guys can hear that. So as you're browsing the App Store, you have the Wii Shop channel playing in the background. Just for nostalgic, this is, you know, it's no need for it. But if you had a Nintendo Wii, you, you understand. Now, there are some settings to configure with this. As you guys can see, you have the Wii Store theme, you have the Homebrew theme, the Weather theme, and you can select... Uh, a different application to play those uh those Wii sounds. So you just found out you have to pay for Noctis 12. This tweak right here called Dune, it's a Noctis alternative, but this time it is free and it doesn't work as well as Noctis, but hey, it is free. You could test it out if you want. I still prefer Noctis because this thing is a little somewhat glitchy. You can read some text, but some text you just can't read. Like this is a little hard to read, um, but Noctis, it's a little bit more better. Now, Snowboard is the Anemone alternative or Winterboard alternative, and it's going to allow you to theme your iOS device. So this is the settings of Snowboard. So all you got to do is tap on Select Theme, and you can select your theme just like that. And once you tap on it, it's going to be on the Enable. And then as soon as, you, as soon as you swipe up, there's no respring required. Everything just changed in effect just like that. It's crazy. We had Winterboard, then Anemone, and then now we have Snowboard. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed my lock screen looks totally different. Really, really beautiful. This, these guys took inspiration from the Apple Watch. So it's the same exact Jellyfish watch face. And this tweak is called Jellyfish. There are no settings to configure. But if you change your wallpaper, the text actually changes. So you guys can see there's like a, a muted red. So as you guys can see, I changed my wallpaper. Now it's like a little purple kind of matches with the background. Because technically this is purple. It might be a little hard to see on camera. But this is purple here. If you charge your device, you guys can see it shows the percentage nice and big and then it goes right back to that. So these are the same developers who made Short Look, Ultrasound. I love this, this repo so much. It's one of my favorite repos. And you can even see the lock indicator there with Face ID. You have your weather on the top. So that's the temperature currently right now. Floaty Dock is going to bring the iPad experience on your iPhone. So if I swipe up, it reveals the dock. If I swipe up a little longer like that, it's going to just go home just like that. But I like this tweak because you can swipe up. Then you can get into your music application just like that. And you can swipe up. You can even go back into your recently used apps. Or you even have your um, hands off. So right now on my iPad, I'm running the notes application. So I can go into the notes just like that. Or I can go into back into the settings. And if I swipe up and get into the app switcher, you actually have your dock on the bottom there. And not only that, you can add more applications to your dock just like that. It's going to make your dock a little bit more smaller. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the smaller dock, but it needs to be smaller in order to hold more apps. Now this one here is called Small Siri, and it's going to make Siri smaller. So it's not taking up the entire screen, and you can actually still interact with your phone. 
And then if you want to see what Siri is talking about, you can just swipe down and now you have an entire full screen of Siri. You can have it either on the top or on the bottom. I recommend having it on the top on your iPhone 10. All right, guys, so I'm going to be flying through these tweaks just because they simple tweaks. This one here is called Music Love, and all it is, all the music that you hearted or love is actually going to show indicator on the side. So as you guys can see, just like that. Now, keep in mind, if you have a Star Trek, you guys can see it overlaps just like that. So you actually cannot see that star, um, but you can see the heart on top of it. So really cool. Just have the heart indicator right there on the side, right there on the fly. Something so simple. Now this next week is called Mark Favorites, and if I tap on select on the top, I actually don't want to show you guys my photos like that. Uh, I can select this entire row right here, and there's a favorites icon right there that wasn't there originally. So if I tap on favorites, it's automatically going to go into my favorites just like that on the fly on the top. So yeah, not too shabby. Quickly select your favorite photos without doing it one by one. Select everything. And of course, once I tap on select again, you can unheart it and it's removed. Now this one here is called pencil charging indicator. So if I plug in my iPhone, let me turn on my portable battery charger. You guys can see that on the top, pops iPhone. So it's gonna show the name of your iPhone and it's gonna show the percentage and just letting you know that your phone is charging. Just like on the iPad, the new iPads with the Apple Pencil. And there are some settings to configure here. So you have a light, dark, light blur, dark blur. So you can change appearances. You have faster animations. I'm actually gonna turn that off. And you can have a low battery alert. So it's gonna tell you when it's time to charge. Just like that, very, very cool. Now, Minimal 11 2 is going to allow you to turn off some elements to make your phone a little bit more minimalistic. So, as you guys can see, my folders, they look kind of different. There's no background. If I launch the folder, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why I did that. I should have the background back on. But, you know, possibilities are endless. <laughs> uh, if I go into the settings application, you guys can see it looks pretty different. It got rid of, It's not edge to edge. It's actually just to the center a little bit. Really, really nice. Really, really neat. Hide the separators on the settings. I already have another tweak that does that already. You can um, no large text. You know those little large text on the iPhone. But um, I want to actually turn back on the backgrounds of the folders. Now, Repo Vision is going to allow you to sign applications without you doing all the work. So no need to connect your phone to the computer or no need to, you know, verify this. This tweak is going to do everything for you. It's going to automatically sign applications that need to be re-signed. So, for example, the Uncover two days is going to inspire soon. So I could just simply tap on Sign um, and then it's automatically going to sign the application. So my Uncover application will work. Now it's going to do everything in the background normally. So if it's, I think it will be tomorrow, it'll start to sign it. So you don't really have to worry about it. So once you install this tweak, you'll be good to go. Now this one here is called Sugarcane. So you guys can see the number on the bottom. Apple should really add something like this. Cause I like this a lot because sometimes, especially with the brightness, I like to have that exact so I want my brightness to be at 50% exactly so you can see the numbers so it's easier to tell that's sugarcane battery percentage X is going to allow you to see your battery percentage on your iPhone 10 10s 10r you know without actually swiping down like this to see your percentage you can just see it right there at a quick glimpse and if I double tap you can activate low power mode just like that on the fly and yeah really really quick really really easy to see exactly where you are in terms of your battery life now this trick right here is called send delay so let's say you send something and you you looked up and it's the wrong person if i tap on send you can actually stop it before the person gets the text message which is really really cool so you could just tap on it oh boom it stops it from you making that mistake now you can change the timer so you can change the delay uh, let's say two seconds yt mini bar x is going to allow you to actually make the mini bar you know fits your device so this is the iphone 10 so there's curves on each corner here so it just kind of makes sense to have this tweak so you can see everything is just so neat look at that curve on the mini bar instead of it being a box it's just a nice curve now clean home screen is going to allow you to remove the labels on your home screen here so i don't have no app names on the bottom no app labels nothing like that so that hides that it hides the dots you know, you can hide so many elements on your home screen right here. And it even makes your lock screen a little bit more minimalistic. But since I have this tweak, it doesn't really make sense to have, you know, that on. 
as you guys can see here are the settings for clean home screen so you can remove the notification badges you can hide the dock background the app names you can hide so many elements all right guys that pretty much concludes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys find this video helpful comment down below what you guys think about this video i don't know your feedback is always appreciated and make sure you guys follow me on twitter and make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and yeah other than that your boy pops have a simple day peace